All right, in this video, we're going to look at some vector functions and determining whether or not they are smooth curves when we were, if we were to graph them. So in part A here, we have r of t equals t cubed uh, times i minus t to the fifth times j. So the first thing we're going to do here is just take a derivative. So r prime of t will give us, well, the derivative of t cubed is 3t squared times i. The derivative of t to the fifth will be uh, 5t to the fourth times j. And now what we do is we look at each one of our components here. So we look at 3t squared and we look at 5t to the fourth. And we kind of have to ask ourselves, um, are these continuous functions? And notice there was no domain given, so we'll assume it's over uh, all values of t. But 3t squared is definitely continuous. 5t to the fourth is certainly continuous. So yes, so we don't have any problems there. Kind of the next question we have to ask ourselves, are there um, any values of t? Are there any values of t such that r prime of that t is going to give us the is going to give us zero, the zero vector? Um, so well, what we do is we just take each component. 3t squared, set it equal to 0, 5t to the fourth, set that equal to 0, and we try to solve this little system of equations simultaneously. Well, notice, uh, you know, if you plug in t equals 0, t equals 0 is a solution to this system. Okay, right, if you plug in 0 and plug in 0, we'll get 0 out. So uh, if we ask ourselves, are there any values of t such that the derivative at that value of t equals 0, if the answer is yes, so in this case our answer is yes, um, if it is yes, that tells us that the curve is not smooth at that point. So in this case, we would know at the value t equals 0, if we were to graph our curve, um, we would get a curve that's not smooth at that value. 